Hey guys, Davy White here, and um, today I'll be showing you how to create this um, scroll effect um, on the Child Deck website uh, landing page for their mobile that I created um, without hovering on it. It's, it scrolls on its own, so it's an automatic scroll effect. But I'm going to be showing you how to do this shortly. So let's dive right into it. All right, here is the file that was created initially, and I'll just tell you what I have done. All right, so what you would do is grab one of this. I'll just duplicate it, and once you grab one of this, all you need to do is to create multiple variations of it. All right, so let's do that. All right, so I'm going to do um, alt hold alt on your keyboard i'm going to duplicate it five times so i'm going to hold alt duplicate it just creates a good amount of space i'm giving it 50 um and then you can now duplicate it five times so that's ctrl d three ctrl d ctrl d and we have that five times all right so the original one i did it with different wireframes yet yeah. Uh, I created three wireframes, but we're using one for these um, purpose to keep this video short. All right, so all you have to do is click on the even ones and like in between and just drag them downwards to create that effect. And yeah, I didn't put them on auto layout. So what you need to do next is create a frame around them. So go click the frame or use the shortcut like I always do. Click F and just drag it over them like this awesome so we have this and that is a frame so i hide the uh, frame let's just give it a frame stroke color so that you can still see the frame and the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to reduce the size of this frame like this if you understand all right, so I'm going to reduce it like this and before doing that, I'll put all of this now in auto layout. All right, so um, yeah, that, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. So just group them, just group them and let's center that inside of the frame and then drag the frame to give it that shape of the mobile phone. So imagine that the mobile phone was this width. All right, and then I would duplicate this frame. Now with that, I would click on this and you can just use the um, alignment, align to right or Alt D on your keyboard, align to right, click it and the one this way would come out just like this, all right? Or you can move it to and fro. But yeah, make that simple. So frame two and frame one, perfect. All right, the next thing that you need to do is select both of them and create a component, component set. Once you do that, I will just eliminate the stroke. All right, just close that. We don't need that on this as well. Let's zoom in. Now, select one of it, go to prototype, drag it from here to this one, and then we're going to use after delay. 800 you can play with the setting depending on what you're creating i've tested this and it works for different purposes but the action would always remain the same so i'm going to use smart animate ease out so select ease out if it's not on default and we're going to give it the highest the highest um, millisecond here which is 10,000. so no matter what you type it's going to give you 10,000 millisecond and yeah we're done for that one click the second one and you're going to do the same thing all right you're going to do the same thing come to after delay 800 smart animate is there and we're done all right we are actually done all right so the next thing you're going to do is you're definitely going to create a frame so i'm going to create a frame over here this frame is to test what we've done so select any of them but I'll select the first one hold alt hold alt and drag it out so you're duplicating it 
and then it's inside of a frame go to design um, and then center it uh, horizontally all right you can even increase the size um, yeah so that you can have that effect so yes I think this is cool so with that I'm going to change the background to something like let's do yellow and let's name this endless scroll effect all right and the naming doesn't matter right nothing actually matters when you name something I don't know so with that well my record eye is it's covering the prototype so I'm just going to create a prototype go to flow starting point and that's it click on it and within some few seconds uh, we should um, have it that's it all right guys this is how you can create an endless flow or flowing effect in uh, Figma in just six six minutes it, it's so much because I'm explaining it all right but yeah in a few few minutes uh, you should be done with this or uh, even seconds all right I'll see you guys in the next um, video I would be animating um, this the scroll um, the biker effect it was done differently so I'd be animating that biker effect um, where he moved um, he was moving in different directions this is taking us some time uh, let's let's do that again let me see um, so watch out for that guys I'll be doing that next and if you need any video that you'd want me um, to show you how it was done I would certainly um, create it for you all right keep um, creating magic um, like I said I'll be doing this next all right so watch out for that bye bye